All right, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, to discuss further into shifted conics and now look at hyperbolas. In my earlier videos, I went over ellipses and parabolas, and this uh, procedure is, is pretty much the same thing, but I wanted to cover this nonetheless just to yeah, further illustrate the concept of shifting functions in general. So let's go ahead and look further into shifted conics hyperbolas. So recall from my earlier video on shifted conics ellipses and circles, which are just types of ellipses, that in which, I mean, uh, in which we can shift an ellipse by replacing x with x minus h and y with y minus k so that what we end up having is if this is the equation of the ellipse over here, x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared, we have something like this where the center of this ellipse is the origin, and this all equals one there. We can basically shift, yeah, shift this all the way across there yeah, by replacing this x, uh, y point over here or every single point on it with x minus h and y minus k so that in order to get back to just a typical x and y, we need to add h to every single x coordinate and y, I mean, and k to every single y coordinate. So we're always adding it so that we get all the way back to this x and y for this function here. So in other words, all we're doing is replacing x and y with this x minus h and y minus k, like that, very, very interesting stuff. So x, x, y goes to x minus h and y minus k. And again, this is in fact, this is in fact the same procedure for shifting a parabola and you could see my earlier video on that as well, and a hyperbola, which I'll cover now. So let's just go ahead and look at it for a hyperbola. So recall the equation of a horizontal hyperbola, which is x squared over a squared minus a squared over b squared. So make sure you watch my earlier video on that. The only difference between a hyperbola and a and a ellipse is that instead of plus here, we have a minus. So we just subtract it. So instead of closing in like this, it would open up like outward. Like that, very interesting stuff nonetheless. And this one's opening inward, <laughs> very interesting. So we have this like this, and where the foci are just uh, plus or minus c and zero, and uh, c squared equals a squared plus b squared, and the foci are over here, and the vertex is over here at plus or minus a and zero. And uh, yeah, recall, yeah, recall that the definition of hyperbola is that the difference of any point on this function, for example here, the difference between the distances from the foci are always constant. So the, the difference in the distances uh, across it always can be constant. Again, make sure you watch my earlier video on definition of uh, hyperbola and the derivation. And also it has the asymptotes like this, uh, y equals b over a times x. So it looks something like this. This is just a basic one. There's the hyperbola opens outwards as opposed to the one opening inwards for an ellipse. That would be an ellipse is if you add it. So opening outwards is the hyperbola. So we can shift the hyperbola so that the center of the hyperbola, currently the origin in this case, uh, over there at zero, zero, uh, becomes the point h and k as shown below and pretty much the same thing as the par parabola and, and ellipse which I covered earlier. So let's just do this again, just to drive home the point of how to shift these. Let's draw uh, x and y coordinates like this. This is the x, this is the y. All right, so let's say we have the function looks like this, the hyperbola, let's draw this like this. And it goes across here, and it's centered about the origin, zero, zero. And this, uh, and this uh, basically in black is just gonna be uh, x squared over a squared minus y squared over b squared equals one, and that is a hyperbola. And now let's say we wanna shift this all the way across there. Let's draw this uh, arrow a bit better, like this. And shift this over here so that the uh, actual point's gonna be here, where the center of the hyperbola is gonna be at this point, and we'll call this uh, h and k. So that's the coordinates, h and k. And uh, basically, just as in my earlier videos, the way we we'll go about doing this is, well, we'll just pick a generic point here on, on the hyperbola, we'll call this x and y. And now what we'll do is draw the, uh, the, the shifted hyperbola in red on where it should be after we shift it. So if we look at it like this, it's almost as if we're creating our own axis. I'm just gonna draw this all in red and dashed lines across like this. So it's as if we're creating a all, yeah, it's basically as if we're moving the whole axis across there. 
and then also be centered across this part like this and let's just uh, say we shifted this across it looks exactly the same we'll be opening up like this and keeps going on and on and let's fix that up a bit to make it look uh, closer to that and also over here draw this a bit neater it's going to be across here and draw this that's the um, Vert vertices. So all right, so look something like that. And now what we'll do is look at this exact same point here, x and y, and then we'll just draw that relative to this one. This is going to be now as well, x and y over there. And now because this point h and k is a, is basically uh, this is shifted to the right by h from the origin, and then this is also raised up by k. Likewise, this is all relative. So then the distance between this point and all the way across here, I'll draw this like this, this point all the way across here and here, this is going to be k. Because from here to there is k, and then this is exactly shifted relative to this one, so that's gonna be k as well. And as well, the horizontal distance from here to here, yeah, here I just fixed that up like this. So this horizontal, horizontal distance is gonna be h, so it's all gonna be relative. So that's, that's what I mean, we're shifting every single point, not just the center. So that's going to be h, it is relative to this one here. In the same way, this is relative to this exact same distance. So we're going to shift the origin, we're shifting everything by h. So when we do this, notice what we get. Yeah, we get something like this, but also we know that this is the new x and y. This is in red as to for the new formula. So that's why it's going to be x and y in red there. And this one, this x and y is for the unshifted hyperbola, the other one's for the shifted. So the distance from here all the way to the origin, this is just going to be our x coordinate. So that's our x. So then this distance from here to here, this is going to be, well, x minus this h. x minus h, like that. And likewise, for the uh, horizontal component, from here all the way across to the top there, this is going to be, well, just y. So then this distance right here is going to be, well, y minus k. So we'll, we'll just get a negative number in this case. So we'll have y minus this k. So this would be negative because, well, it's uh, below the zero. So we'll get something like that. In other words, we get coordinates for this point relative to uh, this new axis or just this new formula above there. This is going to be x minus h and y minus k like that. Yeah, in other words, uh, basically all we're doing is changing this x and y of this formula with x minus h and y minus k. And then to get over all the way across here, we need to shift everything by h and k. So we just add h becomes this x, add k becomes a y over there. Yeah, so in other words, this formula above here is just exactly this one and we're just uh, adding, we're just replacing it with, uh, instead of x, y, we just do x minus h and y minus k. So x minus h squared over 2 minus y minus k squared over 2 equals 1. Yeah, so it's exactly the same as the parabola and ellipse. And also, yeah, we could just write this for completeness. So thus, so thus what we have is, well, this point x, y on the hyperbola, this becomes, or it just gets replaced. So now we replace it with x minus h and y minus k. And I'll draw that in red, uh, signifying the new formula. Like that. So we just shifted, we get the new formula, and then it gets shifted exactly to the h and k center of the hyperbola. Yeah, so once again, notice that in shifting the hyperbola, we, hyperbola, we just replaced x by x minus h and y by y minus k, like that. In other words, to obtain the new values x and y, the, the ones in red, of the, of the hyperbola, yeah, not parabola, of the hyperbola, we need to add h every x value and k to every y value of the old ones. Yes, yeah, so basically after replacing this with x minus h, so what we have is x minus h after replacing and we need to add h to every single one. And also we have the y minus k. This is our old value after replacing. Then we need to add k to every single one. So then, oh, then those is canceled. Then we just get our typical uh, x and y like this. Like this. And the, this is our, well, new values. New uh, values over here. Or new coordinates. And then these are the old ones across here after replacing. So we get old values like that. Yeah, so thus, as I r r wrote down in the above graph, so thus the hyperbola x squared over a squared minus y squared 
or b squared equals 1. So this, this one with a center, it has a center of uh, 0, 0, the origin, center 0, 0. Then what happens here is this becomes, and I'll write this here, so thus this becomes, I'll write this becomes after shifting, after shifting like this. And that's just replacing these. So we just had x minus h over uh, a squared. This is a. This is squared like this minus uh, y minus k squared over b squared equals one. And this has so with center now is h and k. And this is all for a horizontal hyperbola, but also similarly for a uh, for vertical hyperbola or just a, for a vertical hyperbola. We can shift it using the same procedure, so it's exactly the same. One recall for a vertical one, we have y squared over a squared instead of x squared. And so that it's subtra subtracting y squared. Um, I mean subtracting x squared from the y squared as opposed to this one here, y squared from the x squared. So we just replace the y's. And this is going to be x squared over b squared. And you can learn more in my earlier videos on hyperbolas. So this right here uh, becomes, and I'll just write this here, becomes, yeah, becomes the other one. Again, we just replace the same thing. So we have y minus k over like this, squared over a squared minus x minus h squared over b squared equals one like that. And here it becomes zero, so right after shifting, and again the centers just go from the origin in this case to the h and k, just as above, after shifting, like that. So it's very, very interesting stuff. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to drive it home the point of how to uh, shift conics and, and just functions in general. That's why you could replace it for pretty much all functions, but but yeah, I just have to look in each one a bit uh, more detail. But anyways, that's all for today. If you learned about yeah, shifting conics, I wanted to drive home the, this is basically the same procedure. And uh, just because I'll be using it in later videos, just so make sure to watch uh, all three if you uh, if you want to. Yeah, if you want to remember how to uh, shift conics forever. <laughs> Anyways, that's all for today. If you learned, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below as well as viewing these notes on Steemit. Follow me at MES. And also make sure to check out my Discord chat room and uh, math forums on Reddit and Vote. Anyways, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution.